Okay, so let's look on some masking techniques that we can use it and mostly it's combination of the vector and raster masking. So as example, I'm going to use this model and we'll also after masking, we'll, we'll go to do some retouching as well on this. Okay, first things what I want to do, it is remove the chromatic abbreviation, if any. Next, let's come a little bit closer. Okay, and right here on the skin, I want to pop up a little bit sharpness and just take details down. So just slightly increase our effect. Okay, next we'll go to our luminosity and I want just maybe bright just slightly. Let's go back here to our basics and we can look on the highlights. Okay, maybe just slightly down and bring shadows. In some case we're a little bit flattened but I'm just looking right here over exposure on the shadows. So we can do this with the take exposure, bring slightly up. Okay, we can do this way. And also we can work with the shadows, but normally I don't worry, it's too dark hair, it's black hair. And in this case, it's work just fine. So don't worry about too much details in this case. Same with the highlights. I just look on right here, you can see we start losing, so we don't want it too much. I'll just bring slightly down highlights, bring details this area. It's one of those things when you photo shoot in a raw format, you have it quite a bit variety of the information still be there. And by compressing down to using Photoshop, we can adjust all of this. Um, also, I'm looking on some coloring and let's look right here. So you see, we have some reddish little bit color versus our skin. So we can go inside and we can also work on saturation if you wanted to remove slightly. We don't need too much just few steps down. Okay, let's look also on the orange. And in some cases, it's great, very interesting effect. But same, I want just a maybe few steps down on our orange, just to tone down slightly. Okay, I think that is look okay. Maybe a few more steps right here. Also, let me go see. Okay, yeah, and we'll take a little bit on magenta. So just cover a little bit more tonal on the skin. Um, I don't want to go all the way white skin. We can retouch this, but I want to keep it kind of warmer skin in this case. Um, again, if you needed more adjustment, you can remember you can go by the color. And this is was shot with using um, Einstein lighting. And they're quite a bit nice to keep it color properly warming. But again, if you need it, we can always go ahead. And just adjust slightly colder, kind of maybe around this area. Okay, when we're done, I'm going to just open as object or as an image. You can always hold down shift key and open as an object. As well, I'm working with 8 bit. If you need to use 16 bit, just click on the link right there and you can go with 16 bit. For the purpose of tutorials, I will use 8 bit. However, if you do for a magazine of commercials, I do recommend use it 16 bit only due to the sum fringing on agreement. So you will have it gradients line if you do an 8 bit and 16 bit will provide you much smoother effect. Okay, let's go ahead, open this image. Okay, at this point, let's work on some masking techniques I want to show you. First, I'm going to take this background and duplicate it. So and this will be my model working. Okay, we'll start and I do like um, combine several different masks and because it's hard edge right here, I do like to use my pen tool. So on normal, I'm just click right there first. Click and you can see you have handles. So take these handles and just drag along the line. And this will help you to create a very fast, very nice mask. Again, so I'm going to just run. Okay, right here, we'll do more. So right this moment, I'm going to pause this tutorial. And when I finish outlining, I'll resume this tutorial. All right here, I'm going to run. Um, and now we come to the hair. So you don't want to use a pen tool for the hair. It's take incredibly long time. Instead, what I want to do, 
I want to just go around. And sometimes you maybe want to clean up those hairs, but for the purpose, I'm just going around all of this even messy hair. So right here, see how I'm going around. Okay, and when we're done, we want to connect this. Okay, before we enable mask, some areas right around here, maybe you want to add as well. So we want to go and kind of you know, add those areas. Okay, somewhere around this as well. And I like to use a pen for the precision. Um, I know you can use it selective tool or magic wand or other ones, but personally I find I don't like necessary edges it's producing. So I need to work after with those edges more than I can just go and modify it. Okay, right here, one small thing also. Okay, we'll go very close to be done on this one. Okay, let me just verify. So we remove here this. Okay, I think we're good on this. So the next I want to do is a right click and says create vector mask. So notice right here, we created our mask. The reason why I like to keep it lower level. So in case if I miss somewhere, I can reference to this. Okay. Now let's do this one portions. And for this, I want to use it color selected. But here's things because it's a hair, it's much easier. And it's very limited area. So I don't need to worry about coloring all over. I just need to worry only about this area, which is much, much smaller. So for this, we go to select and we go select color range. And I'm just going to click right there on the middle. You notice sometimes maybe you have some problems. So we can go and um, hold down shift key and add more towards this. So we can also right here, you know, just go around. You can add all of this. So look right here, we have a nice, beautiful selection in the hair. Okay, we can just ignore anything that inside because we're already masking, we're removing. So all what I'm just worried about the right, this edge right here with hair. Okay, let's go click OK. And we can create a mask by creating a mask. Control I if we need reverse or when you click, if you press control, we'll do same things. So next, right inside the mask, because see her eyes and other ones, we masking. So we need to restore them. Let's open brush and I want to open brush with hard edge right there. 0% and we want to be sure it's white. And what I'm doing, I'm just going and brushing right close enough right here. So I don't worry about too much inside those areas. Okay, first let's just brush right around here. Okay, and we can go click Alt and you click on a mask and you can see now we can see only mask. So in this case, I want to take this area and I want mask inside right this area. So I'm going to paint right here. Okay. Um, this work very well if we have it semi-transparent as well. So I'm going to adjust right there. At this point, we can increase size of the brush. And literally, I don't care about because there is already masking right there. So and I can just increase size and just go over like this. Okay, let's go ahead, hold down Alt key, click again, and you can see at this point we have a nice mask on a hair around okay and as well we have a nice edge around the model and again because we're using this color selected if for some reason you say hey i want to um refine my mask so you can go back right here and just you know kind of apply it and even refine those edges a little bit better so if for some reason you think hey i need to leave it bear on this edges so you can see it's much better and in this case what we did we actually combine the two masks so we have an arrow vector mask which is give it a very sharp very nice edges and at the same time on the details that we needed 
have it, we can have our um, normal raster mask, which help us with uh, some of these details that we want to create a little bit better. Okay. So overall, right here is um, kind of a nutshell tutorial how to combine the mask. You know, I probably just want to erase this one. And in the next tutorials, we'll continue working on this model to readjust some with frequency separation, retouching, working on the eyes, kind of going through all steps to retouch the model. And we'll probably just put some background on the back digital ones. So it's kind of finished this model.